Y'all like Queens bus is food. <laughs> I look crazy, but um, I'm just waking up. It is, what is it, 11.55. So, I don't know, these past couple of days, I've been um, depressed. Wait, wait, wait. I'm back. I didn't do any videos last week. I was my um it is technically day let me figure that out. Okay, it's day nine or ten um on my maternity leave and I think I stopped at day five. This does not include like the weekend and the holiday. Um I stopped on like a Friday, like the week before last. Um the week uh, before Christmas because my family was in town I didn't record any videos we got a lot done um, and I can show y'all that and then I got sick um, I got COVID this is the first time that I was sick my entire pregnancy I didn't even think I could get sick I was like this pregnancy immune system is ridiculous and then I got sick and this morning I tested negative and I feel great um, there's like underlying mucus, but I'm so happy that the sickness is over um, because I was like, I do not want to bring my child into this world and I'm over here coughing, sneezing, struggling, sinus pressure. So I'm super glad, but I haven't been getting sleep. I don't know. My mom said it could just be like subconsciously. I'm anxious, nervous, excited because he really could be coming any time and, uh, because I don't physically feel like, oh, I'm nervous. I'm anxious. I'm excited. I just feel ready. I've been cleaning up and preparing like crazy. Um, so I woke up, made Jeremiah's breakfast. I mean, made his lunch. He's doing like just like fruit salads, fruits and salads, with salads, salads to have tuna in them. Um, so I did that and tried to go back to sleep, but I couldn't. I, did, I didn't go to bed till like one o'clock. Same thing yesterday. I mean, granted, it was New Year's, but I'll be out on New Year's. Ask my family, I'll be asleep. Um, any day, I'll be asleep. And then I was so hungry, I made me a little breakfast sandwich, laid down, and that was like, what, a three-hour nap? So now I'm technically finna get my day started. I'm going to go walk uh, to get my walking in. I've been walking every day for like, what, two, three days now? I mean, we were, I was going up and down the stairs and stuff like that. Um, we were walking, but then the weather, when I straightened my hair, was not working with us. So I was doing up and down the stairs. Then I got sick. Now I'm walking again. I was curb walking yesterday and the day before. So I'm going to do a little bit of today. I got to go further because I'm dropping some stuff off at a neighbor's house. I'll show y'all. Ooh, hey, you ready for the walk? Huh. <sighs> He's been moving so much more. I could tell he's lower. My pelvic pops every time I get out of bed. Literally like, um, it hurts. But I'm ready for him. And a homegirl just had her baby December 30th. Uh, and she was due the week before I was. So it's getting real out here. Um, and then after my walk, I'm going to take my shower, do my devotional, probably color. And then I'll do my uh what's in my maternity, my uh hospital bag i don't know if I, it'll be a part of this daily vlog it makes sense because i'm doing it today or if it should be a separate video i think i'll do it a part of it because it's not fully packed like i have all the things but i'll explain how there's some st stuff still coming in the mail um I'm gonna finish making our grocery list online because we're about to have my grandparents and my grandmother and my parents here. So it needs to be food here and food that they eat because we're semi like vegetarian, pescatarian. 
and I want to make sure that there's stuff here that they eat. Like even the cereal that we eat is not normal. <laughs> like we eat like organic cereal, so I need to get some regular Kellogg's cereal. Um, and I, oh, laundry, laundry built up, um, but washed all the blankets and stuff like that, disinfected a lot of stuff. So yeah, just gonna be doing some stuff, get back in the groove, so. I'll see y'all on the walk. So I'm giving our neighbor this bag of um, pregnancy stuff and little samples that we're not gonna use. Um, yeah, so let's go walking. See with the hood made my hair even worse. The walk almost won, but we did it. And we dropped off uh Anya's package. I'm so tired. Gotta wash my booty though. So Okay, 206, 10 minute shower. Okay. Ooh, I don't know where this burst of energy came from, but it's here. Um. <clears throat> I really haven't much ate today since I did that like three hour nap. And I'm starving and husband said I can get Chick-fil-A. So. That'll be here in seven minutes. Bye, hurry up. After I eat, first of all, it took me a long time to get to this point. I should have been showered. But see what had happened was, I was thinking about my grocery list. I was gonna tell me my lips were dry. <clears throat> I was thinking about my grocery list and meals for when my grandparents get here. It's gonna be such a blessing that my grandparents are gonna come. Let me work my food. I get to see all my grandparents this month, except for Granny Zoe. And they get to meet their great grandson. Cause Papa and Spencer said they were coming down later this month. Granny, my mom's mom, is coming down next week. And then. Yeah. She's only spending 10 days with us though. Cause she gotta babysit my cousins. And then my grandmama and granddad are coming down the 15th. Oh, so, yeah. That's all I wanted. <laughs> well, my parents and my grandparents, I wish my hungry mom could be here. But we might try to get them down spring break or summer or something. Throwing this toothbrush away because it was a COVID toothbrush. Ooh, the day is almost really over. <laughs> Yesterday went by so fast. Mm-hmm. <sighs> 
But y'all, going over what took me so long is that I was going, um, I was thinking about my meals and groceries for when they get here because we do things a little differently. Like, we don't necessarily be having like the typical snacks in the house. And um, we're also trying to get back to not really eating meat like that. So, I, I really needed to stretch because that uh, walk on them hills and curb walking took me out. And while I was doing that, I'll start thinking about that. Like, oh, they're gonna be here in like a week and a half, two weeks. Let me get my grocery list together. Cause it's gonna be big. Cause my, it's gonna be my grandmother, my grandfather, my grandmama, my mom, my dad, me, Jeremiah, and a new baby. Eight people in the house at once. Go need some food. So I called my grandmother while I was doing like the, what's it called, doggy pose, child's pose. Open up my COVID. Talk to her for a little bit. Then I called my grandmama, talked to her a little bit. Then I called my dad, he didn't answer. Then I called my sister, she didn't answer. Apparently he was cooking and her phone was on mute. And then just when I was about to get a shower, I got really hungry. And then my sister called me back. Then I started talking to her and my mama and my family. And they were eating Chick-fil-A, which is bad influence why I'm getting Chick-fil-A now. But again, I had to check in with the husband to make sure it's okay. But I'm so hungry. I've been like getting super hungry this last month. But after I eat, I'm gonna separate the laundry do the laundry and wash the bedding and just be present when husband gets home. Not gonna show y'all the belly rub today. So y'all see me when I get dressed. Who should be here? Oh, I got a small drink. So dark in the house. Okay. I'm gonna eat in a second. I'm so excited. Let me finish getting ready. Ooh. I just threw on a dress. Didn't feel like putting on a brazier. Hey, I'm staying in the house today. This is what it is. But I'm gonna let my hair breathe. It got really thick after I put uh, oil in it. Cause it was just dry. Uh oh. Well. But it's okay cause I'm getting my hair done Thursday. By the little homie Chrissy. So. I'm just gonna have to do it like this cause once again I keep making this part crooked. Go to the center of my head, love. There you go. <laughs> Look like a wildebeest. Okay. Got you there. Let the brush handle the rest. better that is better okay okay I made some like homemade Vicks while I was sick but like eucalyptus lemon tea tree uh, peppermint coconut oil so I'm rub that on my feet and put some socks on and then go eat my food. <laughs> I'm gonna show y'all what I got to eat. And then it's already. Dang, husband finna be home soon. 
It's already 2.15. Mostly everything in our house besides like the, the decor is pink and blue. <laughs> Cause it's our two favorite colors. And I like to use, this may be weird. I like to use blue things when he's not here. It's like a little piece of him that's here when I'm by myself. So I got some fries, guts. Now later on in this pregnancy, I don't know why. Y'all would please bless this food. Okay, let's put it in my way. And then y'all see me later when I do all the things. I also got an Arnold Palmer that I just put in the glass. No ice. And then I have my large cup of water. I ate my food. It was bussing. I finished the last episode of uh, First, First Wives. So, I took, I don't know if you can see, all of the uh, blankets and stuff out of the dryer. And now I'm finna clear off our bed set, get this nasty COVID sheets and stuff washed. Foaming soap. We were using Kurt's hand soap. Um, I, it's nice. I just don't like how it separates. Let's see what this smells like. Oh, this smells really good. Nice pick, husband. It's waterfall. Whatever. <laughs> Came with six of those. And I think our disinfectant spray came in. I might have brought home a Lysol, but I wanted to get something a little less harsh for his sinuses. But I mean, life's not be taking me out. So, it should be that. It should be delivered. Maybe it was delivered to a mailbox. Oh, okay. This is not that. Let me put this in our... Uh... Cart. It's a uh, Frida Baby. Uh, Derma Frida the Frank Fixer. So it'll go in the little cart. 
Ooh. Oh, I'm buying Charlie Ranchers for labor. Huh. It says it was delivered. Maybe it was delivered to the mailbox. Well, let's get this stuff put up. So, this is uh, where I put the little cradle cap things. It's so soft. All these are like <laughs> so soft. Um, these are like ear covers. Uh, this top part is just like bathing stuff. These are some gloves. Mostly, probably Jeremiah will use them. Uh, there, I have like a smaller, like hand thing, hand cloth. It's a couple cloths. Um, and then I told y'all before, but like this Zurich sweetest baby stuff. I feel like I'm always out of breath now. <clears throat> I think this is an ear and nose picker. So yeah, um, this top part has all of his bathing stuff. Okay. Um, it's a ladder back there because can't reach all that stuff. <laughs> and then, oh, let me squat. This second part is has like breast stuff. I'm going to put the pump in here and stuff like that. There's a couple of things in here that I'll eventually go over um and this is just some what is this those are some nipple covers and this is a swaddle so yeah this cart still oh a thermometer the little pocket nanny all that stuff will be done with whatever <laughs> um these are burp cloths more burp cloths uh, this is like teething stuff and um things to clean his mouth this is more uh bathing stuff and laundry stuff and then the one thing of tinky poo wipes that we have <laughs> can't wait to uh, exclusively use those and then some cloths some washcloths these are boogie wipes some booty wipes <laughs> um i think all of these are wipes yeah, those are parasol wipes. These are wipes. My sisters did all this. And then I just kind of showed y'all when I did our stuff. And then those are um, other diapers that aren't newborn or size one. And then here are socks. Um, these are bibs and what are these mittens? A couple hats back there. These are some more bibs, um, hooded towels. These are all hooded towels. Yeah, and then some our towels and overflow stuff. <laughs> um, these are, I think, newborn diapers of the Andy Pandy. Yeah, but they're kind of big. Um, so we'll see. And then um, in here, I have to do laundry, uh, our clothes clothes, not just our sheets and stuff like that. But these are like some pajamas. These are so cute. Um, I don't think anything is in there yet. These two are empty. This is some zero to three months clothes. This is a four to nine months because they were all like range of sizes. And then this was the bigger ones. And yeah, we still have <laughs> fake baby J on the changing pad. Um, but I'm gonna make labels with these for the kitchen and stuff. Put this right here, excuse this. Um, hmm. Yeah, excuse all that. Um, these are, these are the newborn diapers. Um, who are these from? I, I really can't even remember, but these are smaller, but they look the same as the other ones, so I, Oh, these are diaper. These are diaper newborn. Yeah, this is the diaper brand. And then a couple burp cloths, some wipes, his PPTPs. Hopefully these work. I do not want to get peed on. Some booger wipes. The um, I don't know what this is. What is this? Oh, this is like a thermometer and stuff. And then this is, I believe, like a nail file kit from Frida Baby. Um, then we have a little booty thermometer here. 
This is another ear and nose picker. Um, uh, some of the crease biscuit ointment, the like the raggedy one, use that one up first. Some Aquaphor, and then these are for his humidifier and diffuser. So I'm gonna just slap these in here, <laughs> or yeah, I'll put them inside. Doesn't matter. And then this is his wipe warmer. We'll plug it up over there. Got some more packages, so let's see what that is. Oh, I need to take the bottles. It looks nasty outside. That's been my dinner before I even start my video. I mean, before I even start packing my hospital bag. What is this? Is this the right name on it? Yeah. Oh, this must be, oh, that bug stuff Jeremiah ordered. He said that he found some stuff he wants to try to use for the house. Pest control is expensive, and the first one that we had that was a decent price, they were, uh, it was not really working. Um, like, why pay this much monthly for something that really don't even work? But I can't do the bug, so we gotta figure something out. What is on my shirt? And the dude, I was working, so I was kind of distracted, but came in here, I mean, dirty, was outside, nasty, ugh, sweaty, and, and it was around like August and came in the kitchen and washed his hands. I'm sitting over where we used to have my little love seat. And opened all the cabinets. I was like, are you looking for something? He was like, yeah, the trash. I said, okay, it's over there in the corner. And then he was like, mind if I use your sink? I was in a meeting and I was like, yeah, sure. He gonna proceed to bend his head over and put his sweaty hair inside of the sink and go like this and splash sweat all over the kitchen. When I tell you I was pissed, like, I was so mad. <laughs> okay, so this is, oh Lord. This is a laundry basket we're gonna use for um, Baby J's clothes. I thought it was, oh, you gotta like, you gotta like build it. I mean, not build it, but make it stable because it's like flat so okay cool that's that and then this is one of the towel sets i wonder if this is a towel set for us i'm gonna open it this way so or if this is the towel sets i got for upstairs I like the ones I got for us. Ooh. And I'll wash these. I'll wash these. Oh, and these little go behind because you're making me hot these little uh ooh, come on. diaper sacks these would be for the car since we don't have nowhere to put them Better luck just ripping this. Hopefully these are big. Jeremiah likes oversized towels. I mean, who doesn't? I do too. Um, but he's a bigger guy. 6'3". So let's see. 
Is this just one? Okay. Okay. Yeah, these are for us. These are for the hospital. So, these need to be washed, but I'll show these in the video. So yeah, let's get to get. I am currently, what am I? I'm 38 weeks. I'll be exactly 38 weeks tomorrow. So I'm 37 weeks in six days. Um, and this is what I have so far for my hospital bag. There's still things that need to come in. There's still things that need to get washed. So this is what's in it so far. <laughs> what I'm planning on putting in it. I got this bag and a similar one from Jer for Jeremiah off Amazon. Uh, it's, it's so cute. Um, again, everything is pink and blue. Uh, this is kind of like a, not a blush pink, but like a dark blush pink. And it has convenience pouches on the side. Uh, I think one side is for shoes. This side just buttons, you can put something in there. Um, so yeah, let's get to getting. Um, first big packing cube. I have this one. This is this is a maternity. This is a maternity hoodie or a lac a lac. Hoodie? I don't know. This is a hoodie where you could just pull up, zip, unzip the side, and whip out your boob. Uh, so I have this as our, as like my going home hoodie. And it's getting colder out here. Um, it's January, so I figured a black hoodie, if anything. And I need to still figure out like what bottoms I want. So yeah. Oh. I should probably put a nursing bra in here. I'll be right back. Ugh. Okay. I feel like I knew I was gonna think of stuff while I was doing this. So, I need some bottoms, but I just don't know. I have these really comfortable black uh, pregnancy pants, maternity pants that I have been wearing. And they're so comfy. I only have one pair from Target. And I, um, I think they're like $40. They're expensive. So I haven't gotten any more, but, so yeah, I have this hoodie. And then I also have this, my mom got this for me. Husband's home. Um, it's like a maternity bodysuit. So just in case I wanna some things up and then uh, another nursing bra. I like how it has these little buckles. And then over here on the other side, I have this little thin house coat that Jeremiah bought me and some extra socks. So, the only thing that needs to really go in here is some, um, I just bent my thumbnail. It's some bottoms and undies. So I'll put that at the bottom of this. And then the next one, this one's technically complete. Um, I have another nurse, another cube. Um, and I have two nursing bras, two nursing gowns. Um, this has nipple shields and the little silver cups. This has nipple butter and some purple and blue non-slip socks. Cause if I'm not walking around, 
the hospital room with um, slippers, I'm not walking around barefoot. So yeah, this, I don't think I'm gonna put anything else in here. I just got two. Um, I'm really not trying to be there a long time, but I think you have to stay there until you have a bowel movement or depending on your recovery. And then this one, I just need to put like underwear in. Hey! Mm -hmm. Good, finally making this video. How was work? It was good. Too. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. Okay. Uh, so in this one, I ordered some like oversized underwear that's coming. Well, say hey, babe. Hey, people. <laughs> um, that's gonna go in here. This is kind of like the postpartum bag and I got a little bit of stuff just in case so I have three different types of like oversized pads I don't really know so these are like natural brands organic brands this used to be black owned they didn't got 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 um so I have this rail two of these ultimate ones two of these extra long overnight ones and then two of these postpartum uh pads from honey pot and these are just plain, and Honey Pot has their like essential oils or whatever in it. And then I have one of the Freedom Mom Instant Ice Maxi Pads. Um, I have some more under my cabinet, but I just wanted to bring one. I was told they'll have everything I need, so I just got a couple of things. And then I also heard the Perry Bottle sucks, so I got my own from Freedom Mom. It's the one that's like upside down. I cleaned it and everything, so I'm gonna keep it in there. And then I have their uh, perineal spray or foam, healing foam, and then a small thing of aloe vera, just in case, cause I think they're gonna give me like dermaplast and stuff like that. I have all that under my sink, but just to be sure. So yeah, the only thing that needs to go in there is the underwear that I have that just needs to be washed. Um, I went with some black cotton ones because uh, black. <laughs> so yeah, I'll put this in there and then I also have this neck pillow, I haven't even opened it. This is Jeremiah got his matching ones um, for traveling and stuff like that. So I'm gonna bring this neck pillow. And I have this, it's like a stroller fan, but um, ooh, it has like three different settings. Mm, that feels good. And you can kind of like maneuver the bottom how you want. Of course, everything for baby boy is kind of like neutral colors, but this is technically for me. So he can use it on his stroller, but this is for me. <laughs> so I'm gonna bring this fan in its charger, but I'm gonna put the charger probably inside this little bag. I don't know what, this is supposed to be for electronics and stuff. I might have like a charger, but Jeremiah has most of that stuff packed with his like extra chargers and stuff. And then I'm wiping everything down. I have some um, Everspray multi-surface cleaning wipes that I'm bringing. And I'm really just gonna pop this on the side of it. So it's easy access. And then in here, um, I have some salt and what are those called? Um, electrolyte drink mixes. So I got a ton in this little pouch so I can stay hydrated. And, and since I can't have like certain drinks, I'll just mix these with my waters. And then there's like these organic candies that came with some gift set. So 
so yeah these drink mixes and then like some snacks will probably go in here um also already have my jolly ranchers which are inside the pantry i'll do that later and then in here is my manual breast pump uh set the harmony set from Modelo. and everything's sterilized and put inside ziploc bags so ooh, I think that one. So yeah, I got one four ounce glass bottle just in case he doesn't take to the boob well. But yeah, I got everything that that came with. Sterilized it, washed it and sterilized it. This was a part of a gift set, this Nano BB or Baby. Comes with like a pacifier, some um, breast milk storage bag with some nursing pads. It has a coupon book in it too, but I mean, I just didn't feel like opening it. And then these are just some instructions and a strap for the collector milk collector that i'm putting in this one i don't i forgot what this bag was for in the packing cube set but it worked out for what i needed it to be and everything depending on what all fits in the duffel bag i might separate some of this stuff inside of my little travel size suitcase and then here in this one if it fits uh, I have a diffuser over there that I'm going to bring but it's for the little room right now that I'm going to put in here if it fits this is it said it's for like bras and underwear and socks but whatever so that diffuser and then some oils this is a body oil birthing and body oil and yeah, it's just some stuff I'll put in this bag. Um, oh, dang. Wait, can you tell me the stuff over there? So, not getting tacked yet. Still got to put some stuff in there. And then, whew, thank you. These I just have my shower shoes in. I'm only going to bring one other pair of shoes, which is my Crocs. I just need to find my black Crocs or I'm gonna just wear my pink ones because everything else is pink, so why not? Um, and then in here I have some of my toiletries. I love the little hang up toiletry bag. I have some tweezers and some floss and some lip chap. And then stuff that, because we're almost out of our stuff, so I'll just put the new stuff in here. I put my art face wash in this little bag. I have the daytime oil for my face the serum but not the nighttime and then some new deodorant and some new face cream y'all see me use this stuff uh, so yeah more stuff is going to go in here but for now i just added the extra stuff and then in here I'm just gonna have like some convenience stuff. So probably um, my cards, my ID and stuff like that. And then I have some some more lip chat, this aquifer I just put in there and then some lip gloss or whatever. I just need to quick, quickly grab. And then I have this boppy in here that I left, I cleaned the bag wash the cover and put it in this part and then the blanket that i'm going to use down there so it's they're both pretty thick so i don't know how much else there's still room to like close it obviously but i don't know how much else i'll put in there besides our towel set which is the last thing for now um i bought these for the hospital they're super soft so two of each of the face ones Cause you can't wash your face at the same time you wash your booty. Just and then there are some face like hand towels. They're really really soft and then super big body towels. So yeah, I'll wash those and I'll put one in my bag and Jeremiah will put one in his bag. And I'm probably gonna take some disinfectant spray, but it was delivered to the mailbox like I said earlier and not to the house. So we'll get that when we get that. And that's what's in my hospital bag so far, <laughs> or about to be. <sighs> Woo.
I'm also bringing this this cup <laughs> for one it has my name on it and um yeah I don't I, I don't want to go through the hassle of worrying if the straw is dirty um <laughs> well with my labor breath and because we might be there for two three days so yeah I feel like this is easier to wash and see if it's dirty or not so taking this for water I, I forgot you to sleep until you text me. What's that I was doing? I thought you just doing pregnant and stuff. I'm knocked out. I woke up, I was like, it's three hours later? But I was super sleepy at work. Because <laughs> <laughs> you ain't want to be there. Nah, I don't care about the bed until like 11 ish. Thank <laughs> you.